hello my dear students so in the previous video we discussed regarding the uh, oxo acids of a phosphorus and the how and in a what easy way we can write the structure we can practice the structure we have gone through i hope you find that one useful similarly we have completed the structure okay next we'll just go for the name and the basicity okay so as the word ortho hypo and pyro uh, like what the words you could see what is the reason of putting all these okay so prefixes that we need to understand so here before that let us go with the basicity okay so here almost all the oxo acids are like what we are saying them as a acid they should have a basicity so basicity in the sense what we can say you know what is basicity and the acidity if the acid uh, is allowed to react with the okay acid is allowed to react with the a base how many protons from the acid can be replaceable by the a base okay, okay that is what we're going to call it as a basicity okay so now now here when it comes to each oxo acids of a phosphorus how we're going to find out the basicity okay see here when you see the structure i'm just telling an easy way how you can remember how you can say whether it is a monobasic or dibasic or tribasic tetra okay like that so here let us go with the structure so it is like basicity as i told the replaceable proton or the replaceable hydrogen atom okay h plus ion should be replaceable by the base okay so here what happens we could see phosphorus is bonded to oxygen phosphorus is bonded to oxygen but here phosphorus is bonded to hydroxyl group that is oh okay so this hydrogen which is bonded to the oxygen can be ionizable okay can be taken off or can come out as a h plus ion okay uh, by the base but when it comes to when when this uh, uh, for example if i go with uh, this one okay if i go here here the hydrogen is directly linked with the phosphorus okay so which will not act as a means which will not easily replaceable which will not undergo easily ionizable okay only those hydrogen which are bonded to the oxygen atom can be replaceable by the base okay so how many oh bonds are present in a, that particular uh, what we can say a compound that much will be the basicity okay this is how you need to understand so repeating how many oh bond is there that is bonded to the phosphorus that word that much will be the basicity of that particular oxo acid okay so here you could see first one hpo3 we'll going to call it as a metaphosphoric acid okay so here how many uh, like a poh bond you could see here how many poh bond dear students we have only one okay that means what there is only one proton that can be replaceable so here the basicity of this particular compound is how much it is one or i could say it is mono basic in nature we'll going to call it as a mono basic in nature okay i hope you understood similarly let us come to the next one h3po4 okay h3po4 is known as orthophosphoric acid okay so how many poh bond dear students p oh p oh p oh so three p o h bond is present okay so that there are three replaceable proton or three replaceable hydrogen atom uh, by the base okay so what will be the basicity dear students the basicity would be it is three okay so that we're going to call it as a tri basic in nature okay similarly let us move to the next that is h3po2 okay which will going to call it as a hypophosphorus acid okay so we have only one poh bond dear students one poh bond so what will be the basicity so basicity here it would be one okay so we will going to call it as a 
monobasic in nature okay similarly let us move the h3po3 okay we'll going to call it as a phosphorus acid so how many poh bond we have a 2 poh bond so the basicity is also how much it is 2 and we'll going to call it as a dibasic in nature so in short you can understand if you know the structure how to write okay that i have given in the previous video you can check my previous video how in an uh, easy trick you can write the structure if once you get the structure then you can remember the basicity very easily so how many poh bond that much of a basicity will be there okay yes so similarly we have h4p2o7 okay we have a h4p2o7 which we're going to call it as a pyrophosphorus acid okay so how many uh, poh bond here students one two three four so basicity will be like four pOH bond we have so the basicity of this one will be four and it is tetra basic in nature okay it is tetra basic in nature similarly let us come to the h4p2o6 okay h4p2o6 that i have represented here it is hypophosphoric acid okay so how many pOH bond here students one two three four again we have a four pOH bond so we will going to have the basicity that is four okay it is also what tetra basic in nature okay this is also tetra basic in nature okay similarly the last one h4p2o5 that is pyrophosphorus acid so here you could count one pOH bond and one more pOH bond that is only you can see pOH pOH so two pOH bonds are present so the basicity of this one is two and it is well known as what dibasic in nature okay so if you know the structure you can find out the basicity okay in your computer exam if the question will appear based on this one then you can find it very easily okay so similarly this is all about the basicity and the structure we have discussed in the previous video you can check that one similarly here you could see okay that is about just a minute that is about how they are actually prepared okay so here we have listen h3po3 okay which will going to call it as a phosphorus acid how you can remember how they are prepared okay so yesterday in the video i had told you how exactly these oxo acids are obtained either by the loss or gain of a water molecule or by the loss or gain of a oxygen atom okay the same thing is applied here we have a phosphorus acid if you remember h3po3 it's a phosphorus h3po4 is phosphoric Phosphorus is PO3, phosphoric is PO4. So, from the phosphorus acid, okay, if one oxygen atom is removed, okay, minus O I have written, okay, O means the oxygen. From H3PO3, if I take off, if I remove one oxygen, the formula will be H3PO2, okay, that is hypophosphorus. Okay, phosphorus will become hypophosphorus. The reason of joining hypo here, it is because there is a change in the oxidation state. Okay, there is a change in the oxidation state or from H3PO3 to H3PO2, the oxidant, oxidation state uh, decreases. Okay, if I count here, if I uh, find out here the oxidation state of a phosphorus in h in phosphorus acid so three we have so two six so we here it will be plus three okay the oxidation state of a phosphorus in phosphorus acid is plus three and if uh, here i count it will be how much it will be plus one so there is a decrease in the oxidation state the decrease or low oxidation state is represented by the word hypo okay so that's why the name hypo phosphorus h3po3 remove one oxygen will become h3po2 remove one oxygen is nothing but hypophosphorus acid okay now similarly we have phosphorus acid to this phosphorus acid okay take two molecules of phosphorus that is h3po3 and h3po3 when i combine what i'll going to get i'll going to get h6p2o6 
O6, right? So from that, from that, remove one water molecule. So if I remove one water molecule, that will result in the formation of a H4P2O5. Okay. So that uh, when uh, some reactions will be happening, if the water molecule will be lost or like a carbon dioxide will be lost, that will be represented by the word pyro. Okay, since water molecule uh, is been lost, so that's why the word pyrophosphorus acid. So here it is common. That is phosphorus. If a water molecule is removed, then it is a pyro. If oxygen is removed, then it is a hypo. Okay, that you have to remember. So remember this formula, remove one oxygen, we are going to get a hypophosphorus. So take a two molecules of phosphorus, remove one water molecule, will give a pyrophosphorus. Okay, in the same way, in the same way, we will go through this one. So we have H3PO4, okay, which will go into color as an orthophosphoric acid, phosphoric, PO4, phosphoric. Remove one water molecule, we will go into get what? HPO3, that is metaphosphoric acid, okay. So here similarly, H3PO4, uh, take two molecules of that one and uh, remove one water molecule, you will go into get H4P2O7. Since water molecule been removed, we will go into get phyrophosphoric acid okay so this is how this is how you can remember the preparation okay so i'm going to up uh, like uh, upload this pdf file in my telegram channel okay i hope you find this video very useful similarly let us uh, in the next video discuss about the uh, oxo acids of a remaining okay like a sulfur for the nitrogen for some of the halogen we're going to discuss okay thank you